Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another behind the scenes unboxing video. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, but they're kind of my favorite videos to make. We go through a lot of gear on the channel, and this is my way of pulling back the curtain, unboxing new gear arrivals, getting some first impressions together, giving you a sneak peek of what's coming up on the channel. And this is a really cool one for you guys today. FedEx just dropped off a couple of things I've been super hyped to try out. Smack a like on the video if you're going to enjoy it. That actually really helps out. Now let's get into it. First box. And oh, it's a Charvel. I love Charvel. I can't remember. Have they always done this? Have they always put Made in Mexico for the import Charvels? And even if Fender does it, I can't think of any other brands that does that. Like, if it's a Marshall, they'll just put Marshall. You'd never see Marshall made in Vietnam on the box. I mean, I guess that's how much pride they have in their made in Mexico models. Either way, the thing that's inside here is fucking dope. Let's go ahead, open it up. Alright, this is it. This is the coolest strat of all fucking time. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't. You just can't. So this is the signature model of Phil Scrosso, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, of As I Lay Dying. It's a strat in silver burst with a single fishman fluence, floating trim, compound radius ebony fingerboard with some big ol' frets, and look at this, an anodized aluminum pick guard. Oh yeah, and like the toothpaste logo. Dude, it's so simple, but that's what makes it so cool. I mean, just Silverburst in general is fucking awesome. But a Silverburst Charvel with these modern features too. I love this. My main thing with strats and strat type guitars is the volume knob is too close. It can get in the way of picking and they've just put it in its own separate time zone down here. Then here it is from the back. Actually looks like this might've been used already, but anyways, I've been calling it a strap, but it's actually a dinky. That's why you've got things like the input jack here. So it's good when you wrap the cord around the strap. The black reflections are really messing with the camera, but you can see that there's nice contours and cutaways for better upper fret access. Ooh, I like how the covers are recessed, actually. Full signature, Chavel logo tuners. Dude, I don't know what else to say. It is such a simple concept for a metal guitar, but it's still so cool. I think it's like the modern features combined with the little bit of vintage aesthetic, like the silver burst and the toothpaste logo. And usually I shy away from Floyd, so this is gonna be my only Floyd guitar, I think. I usually don't like maintaining them, but for this, yeah, I'll do it. Fender Mexico, again, with these highly rolled fingerboard edges. Love it. I believe those are Lumen Lays, too. Yeah, man, that's my new guitar. Super simple, super sick. I might hit up Ken Susi for the demo track, actually, because I've been wanting to do something with him for a long time, and I think he's a permanent member of the band now. All right, one last little flyover. God, so fucking cool. Fucking cool, just like today's sponsor the lovely people over at Sweetwater. And I love these guys. They've been hooking us up with all sorts of cool things for content lately, like the uh, the D'Angelico Baritone giveaway. I've been a Sweetwater customer for over a decade now, so I'm super excited to have them as a channel partner and to work with them to bring you guys some great guitar content. I need anything guitar related. They are my first stop. It's basically automatic at this point. The guitar gallery is phenomenal for picking out the exact guitar that you want and they've got the gear exchange for used listings, which is especially cool as a seller because you can use it in the same way that you use eBay and Reverb, or there's absolutely zero fees if you choose to get paid in Sweetwater credit. And let's be real, a lot of the time when we sell something, it's to fund a new piece of gear, so it's nice to have both options. Everything I'm unboxing here today, there are Sweetwater links in the description if you want more info or decide to pick up something of your own. You can also bookmark my affiliate link down below to use when you need strings or picks or whatever. It's a fun way to support the channel. I get a little kickback to reinvest back into the content, and of course that lets them know that I sent you so we can put together more fun guitar videos for you guys. So thanks Sweetwater for sponsoring the video and with that, let's get back into the unboxing. Next box. Okay, that's a familiar logo. I don't think I've ever opened a box from these guys before. So let's go ahead, see what we've got. All 
Alright, cool. A bunch of Seymour Duncan shit here. I'm getting back to work on some of the vintage Gibson projects. Got a couple cameras set up at my Luthier Wendell's so we can capture footage while he's working on them. And one of the projects is a 65 Melody Maker with an Evertune. The pickup in there right now isn't original. The electronics don't even work. So at the very least, it needs a new pickup, a new pot. And I wanted to stay true to the original Melody Maker vibe but add a little bit of a modern twist to it. So I was always thinking it would be one of these, a Seymour Duncan P-Rails. And they've got two versions. This is a hot version, so it's got a little more output. And what's cool about the P-Rails is in normal mode, it's a P90, and you see it's got this extra rail. So when I add a push-pull pot to the circuit, which uh, Seymour Duncan for some reason doesn't make, so I'll add a bare knuckle push-pull or something. But anyway, so if you use a push-pull, you can put it into P90 mode or you can put it into humbucker mode. How sick is that? So you get both types of tones in one guitar. Especially useful if the guitar only has one pickup, like the Melody Maker. And then while I was there, I was like, you know what? I'm desperately low on straps. I put strap locks on so many of my guitars, and I've only got like two straps. So I got one with the gold logo, one with silver logo, and uh, the leather feels nice. This feels surprisingly cheap, though. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just from Seymour Duncan, I was expecting more premium feeling. It's just very okay. It's really thin, feels kind of plasticky. I'm sure it's fine though. And then I also picked up a shirt with the vintage Seymour Duncan design. For no other reason than I just thought it looks cool and uh, I wear like five shirts in rotation. So now I've got a six. But yeah, really excited about this pickup. Make sure you're subscribed so that way you don't miss any updates on that project or any of the other projects. I swear we're making progress this time. And actually it turns out that 87,436,072% of viewers are not subscribed. Definitely a real statistic. So go ahead and do that now if you're enjoying the content that actually really helps out. But yeah, that is the Seymour Duncan haul. Last box. Oh my god, is it happening? Is it actually finally happening? Oh, it might be finally happening. Even Coach is like, what the fuck? Alright, I guess it's time to follow instructions. It's time to open this end this end up. This might also be second hand because it said this side up, open this end, right? I don't know, man. That's definitely an amp foot. Whatever. I'm just happy that one of these is here. Let's go ahead and continue opening it up. God. Dude. <laughs> All right, so this is obviously an EVA champ. It's a 5153. This is the 6L6 Stealth version. This is the first EVA champ I've owned. The very first EVA champ I've ever played through. Or it will be once I plug into it, but you know what I mean. So I'm not sure what the difference is between them, like what the difference is between this and the OG or this and the EL34 stealth. I just thought that this one looked the meanest and generally I prefer 6L6 downs to EL34, so this is the one that I went with. Apparently the stealths have more gain than the OG, which suits me just fine, but what the difference is between this and the EL34 don't know. Luke says they have different channel voicings, and even like the 100 watts have different channel voicings than the 50 watts, like all of them have different sounds. It's not just that this one has double the headroom of the 50 watt version, like they literally don't sound the same, apparently. Again, first EVA champ, don't really know shit. And the first thing I'm noticing is that this is an absolutely mammoth sized head shell. Like I have to use the wide angle to get the whole thing in the shot. Like, the Triamp is a beast. This is a wide amp. The EVH is even wider. How is that possible? I do love how clean the front plate is, though. You've got all the controls in a single line across the front. It's got the big chicken head knobs. It's all spread out. It's not all cramped together, even with full EQ for every channel. Oh, and individual presence controls for each channel too. Actually, you know what? Let me plug this into a speaker load so we can see how it lights up. 346 minutes later. Nice. Actually, took me a little bit to figure out how to power it on though, because as wide as they've made this amp, <laughs> they still couldn't fit the power and standby switches. Those are on the back. As well as independent resonance controls for each channel. That's cool. Damn, that is a 
lot of tubes in there. There are the four 6L6s, and then it's got something ridiculous, like eight preamp tubes. So much gain. So this amp has three channels. You got your green channel, you got your blue channel, and you have your red channel. That blacked out pinstripe design is so fucking cool, man. In the box, you get a speaker cable, power cable, and a nice foot switch that kind of mirrors the amp, where it's super wide and all the controls are nicely laid out and spread apart. You know, you're not gonna hit the wrong channel or anything by accident. Dude, I'm telling you, I have wanted to play through one of these forever. I'm so excited about this. Actually, you know what? Since I've already got it hooked up, let's go ahead and take it for a test drive with the Charvel. Okay, quick change of plans. Turns out the battery in the Charvel is dead and I've used up all my nine volts. It's worth noting this gear came directly from Fender, not from Sweetwater. Should have gotten it from Sweetwater. They would not have allowed that to happen. But so anyways, I'm using the actual greatest strat in the world instead. I'm on the EVH's blue channel. Everything is set to noon. Okay, so let's see if this thing is overrated or not. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> not overrated. Holy fuck, that's so much gain. And that's only on the blue channel. Red channel now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. I like it. And that will do it for this behind the scenes unboxing video. Man, one of the coolest strats I've ever seen in my life. And finally, we're getting some EVH amp tones on the channel. How it's taken years to get an EVH amp chug royalty on this fucking gain addicted channel, I have no idea. But everyone, calm down. We've rectified the situation. You might have also noticed my upload schedule has been pretty good for this last week at least. So hopefully I'll be able to drop the full demos sooner rather than later. Make sure you're subscribed and you've got the bell ticked for notifications. That way you don't miss those when they drop. Big shout out to Sweetwater again for sponsoring the video. Links to all the gear details are in the description. Massive shout out to my patrons for supporting the channel as well. Their names are up on the screen right now. Consider joining them if you wanna support the channel. You can also join as a YouTube channel member to leave a tip or pick up a comfy ass shirt. Everything goes back into the channel and back into getting content out. So really appreciate you if you decide to do that. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome and I will see you for the next video.